Exploring Regrouping, Lesson 3.7. We can show 23 in different ways. We can show it as two tens and three ones. We can even show it as one ten and thirteen ones. We can show it as zero tens and twenty-three ones. We can regroup the two-digit tens and ones to show each number. For 19, we can show one group of 10, right here, and nine ones. We have one 10 and nine ones. We can also show it as no tens and 19 ones. Here we have 32. We can show it as one, two, three tens, and two ones. We can show it as two tens and twelve ones. We can show it as one ten and twenty two ones. We can also show it as 32 ones. That would be zero tens and 32 ones. Do you see the pattern? As the tens went down, three, two, one, zero, the ones went up from two to 12 to 22 to 32. Let's try that again. We have 15 right here. We can show it as one ten and five ones. So it'd be one ten, wouldn't it? Or we could show it as no tens and fifteen ones. That's regrouping. We're changing the grouping from tens to all ones. See that? Let's try this one. This is a big one. We have forty seven. We have four tens and seven ones. One, two, three, four tens. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. We can also regroup it as one, two, three tens. And seventeen ones. It can also be regrouped as two tens. and 27 ones. And we can regroup it as 110 and 37 ones. And we can also regroup it as no tens and 47 ones. 47. Let's try some problem solving. Emma has two tens and four ones. Tala has one ten and seventeen ones. Who has more? Well, Emma has two tens and four ones. That's a twenty-four. Tala has one ten and seventeen ones. We can regroup that ten to this ten. So she would have two tens and seven ones. That's 27. So who has more? Oh, 27 is more, isn't it? So Tala has more. How about this one? Lisa has 32 ones. Bob has two tens and 11 ones. Who has more? Lisa has 32 ones. That's three tens and two ones. That's 32. Bob has two tens and 11 ones. That's what it tells us. We can regroup this to the tens place, can't we? So she'll have, Bob will have three tens 
and one one. He'll have 31. So who has more? Oh, Lisa has more. 32 is more than 31, isn't it? So we can regroup tens and ones when we get enough ones we can take it to the tens place, can't we? When we have 47 ones, we can take a 10 away and give it to the tens place, and then we'll have 37 ones. And we can take another 10 away and give it to the tens place, and we'll have two tens and 27 ones. And we can still take another 10 out of that and make three tens and 17 ones. We can still take another 10 and give it to the tens place and have four tens and seven ones. See? And they're all 47. They all mean 47. They're just grouped differently. Okay? So that's regrouping. We're going to talk about that some more. I'll see you in the next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.